All right, let's jump straight into it. To the left of my artboard, I've got some reference material. I'm gonna use these as inspiration to make some cool tribal-like shapes using the repeat tool. I'm gonna start by selecting N on my keyboard. That's gonna pull up the pencil tool. Let's crank the stroke up on this to about 20, 23. And then I'm gonna wanna change the profile of the stroke to something like this. Before we get started, let's double click the pencil tool and then crank the fidelity of that up. Let's make a path here. Okay, let's reapply that stroke. And then maybe let's zoom in here so that I can get a little bit more detailed. Let's try something like this. All right, and then let's maybe do another one right here. Let's drag that over, tweak it just a little bit. All right, let's take this maybe duplicate it transform let's hit reflect okay and what i'm trying to do is just get like a general kind of base shape going here something that i could use for the repeat tool and we could possibly get you know cool little cool little radial pattern effect i wonder what this would be like oh i like that that's cool let's drag this over now and let's try and line that up a little bit better and that's pretty cool that's a nice shape i'll go ahead and save this one and expand the appearance on that let's go into our window and search for the pathfinder where, where is pathfinder and let's merge all of this all right and maybe i'll round out the corners of this all right now we're gonna go to object repeat radial and then from here we can get some pretty cool effects using the repeat tool in adobe illustrator so crank that all the way down i like to do around four instances and maybe kind of shrink this down a little bit and you can really start to see some shapes appear here I might even crank that up just a little bit more because i'm kind of liking this shape here and could probably even let's see and once we have one shape we can go in and we can kind of make iterations of this using the repeat tool and we can get a bunch of different variations and kind of make some really cool stuff here. I'm just gonna duplicate this and double click into one of the instances and let's just kind of tweak the shape a little bit. One thing I can do is go up here to the warp tool and kind of mess around with these different warp settings. I kind of like this variation that looks like it's kind of the same but it's a little bit sharper. And I kind of like this effect also that kind of removes the spikes from the inner areas of the shape that we're starting to see in our negative space. I think I like the skinnier version better. So let's go back to that. Yeah, this looks good. I like this a lot. Let's OK that and let's just mess around with this a little bit more also and see what other shapes we could get. And I really like this shape that we're starting to get here. It's kind of starting to feel like barbed wire. What I could do with that is I could go in and add a circle right here. And we could put a stroke around that and go to object, expand. And then we can use the shape builder tool here to kind of go in and remove these spikes here. Group that together. And that's a pretty cool shape that we got there. Just using the repeat tool, like there's so much that you can do. If you guys like videos like this and want me to do more, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for rocking with me.